Hi, today we will be doing the simplest poem in your syllabus that is the Indian Weavers by Sarojini Naidu. Indian Weavers uses a lot of imagery. Imagery means descriptive words or language used to describe certain images. It means the use of words to create mental pictures. This poem is a tribute to the weavers of India who as a part of encouraging Swadeshi goods in India work tirelessly to weave different garments for different occasions. It is a tribute to the weavers of India for promoting Swadeshi because Sarojini Naidu lived in the time of pre-independence and there was the Swadeshi movement. Also, it also celebrates the different remarkable stages of human life, particularly the birth, marriage, and death. The speaker asked the weavers, Weavers weaving at break of day, why do you weave a garment so gay? Blue as the wings of a halcyon wild, we weave the robes of a newborn child. Weavers weaving at fall of night, why do you weave a garment so bright? Like the plumes of a peacock, purple and green, we weave the marriage veils of a queen. Weavers weaving solemn and steel, what do you weave in the moonlight chill? White as a feather, white as a cloud, we weave a dead man's funeral shroud. Three stanzas of four lines. In every stanza, the first two poses a question to the weavers and the second two lines answers to the question that the first two lines poses. The first stanza expresses the joy of uh, coming of a newborn child on this earth. The speaker asked the weavers who were busily weaving at the break of day, early in the morning, at dawn, which symbolizes the birth of a new day and so the birth of a child. The blue color denotes joy and celebration of a newborn child. Blue as the wings of a halcyon wild is the use of a simile because of using uh, because of comparing the halcyon wild to the color blue using the word s. In the second stanza, the speaker asks the weavers, it is evening and you are weaving a bright colored garment. What are you weaving? You know, evening denotes a very serious and calm point of the day. And marriage is something to do with seriousness and maturity. And it is a very important uh, occasion in a person's life. It is the turning point of a person's life. So the weavers reply saying that like the plumes of a peacock, purple and green. We all know what a peacock is. It is a very colorful and majestic animal with this royal look. Weavers reply that we are weaving the marriage veils of a queen. In the last stanza, in the last four lines, the speaker asks the weavers again, weavers weaving at moonlight chill. It is night and it, there is moonlight, which is white. And it is chilly, it is cold. So what are you weaving at a time like this? Night denotes darkness, darkness in a person's life, darkness in a particular date. So obviously we can imagine that death is associated with darkness an ending of the day. The weavers reply saying that white and light as a feather and white as a cloud. We are weaving the dead person's funeral shroud. So the first stanza denotes the birth, bright blue colored healthy and wild. And the second stanza we find imagery but in the use of the fall of night that means the evening of the day, the serious mode of the evening and the colorful time of the day which is which is associated with the marriage of a person and finally in the third stanza it is associated with the death of a person by using night in this stanza and by using moonlight which is white white denotes peace and white denotes eternal peace eternal rest and they are weaving something white to cover the dead man's body dead man's funeral shroud. So Sarojini Naidu uses a lot of colors and uses a lot of imagery, colors like blue, purple and green, and like the colors of a peacock, and also the color of the cloud and the moonlight to 
to to symbolize the different stages of life, the different important points of human life. She also uses imagery like the halcyon wild and the peacock and also um, the moonlight to denote the different stages to mark the significant points of a human life. So that is a brief description of Indian weavers by Sarojini Naidu. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.